Okay, here's the moment of truth. Is it gonna be gooey in the center? Oh my God, that looks so good. Who knew stuffing your cookies would be such a popular trend? Hey sugar geeks, Liz here. Today I am gonna show you how to make the most amazing, decadent Nutella stuffed chocolate chip cookies. What recipe do you need? How do you get the filling in there and not make a huge mess and all that good stuff? It's all coming up next on The Sugar Geek Show. All right, so let's go ahead and scoop our Nutella. We want about two teaspoons and we need to freeze that. I'll tell you guys a secret. I have not had Nutella until I started testing this recipe because I don't love hazelnut flavored things. But this baked into a cookie is like magic. So I might be a Nutella fan now. I don't, I don't know what's happening to me. <laughs> If you don't want to use Nutella though, you can um, definitely use other things. I know some people put like a marshmallow inside, a literal like chunk of chocolate, a bit of Oreo in the center. Like you can stuff a cookie with anything if you believe in yourself. Let me know in the comments what you would stuff your cookies with. And while you're down there, you might as well hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you know you get more stuffed cookie content. <laughs> You're gonna put these uh, Nutella bits into the freezer for exactly as long as it takes for them to be frozen. That took me about an hour, but it might, it might be two hours for you. It might be 30 minutes. Just go with your heart. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and make our cookie dough. We're gonna start with our softened but not melted butter. I'm using my Bosch Universal Plus to mix this cookie dough, but you can use a hand mixer, you can use a KitchenAid. If it mixes, you can use it. You can use your arm. Three quarter cup of white sugar three quarter cup of brown sugar. All right, so we basically wanna just cream this until it just starts to get a little bit paler in color and looks a little bit fluffier. And now we're gonna add our eggs, not room temperature, straight out of the fridge. Weird, I know. Why do they have to be cold eggs, Liz Merrick? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. When we tested uh, this recipe, this is actually based off of our master chocolate chip cookie recipe. And we noticed that when you use room temperature eggs, you actually get more spread. So this is the one time you're allowed to use a cold egg. If you wanna learn more about the science of the perfect chocolate chip cookie recipe, it's right there. And we're just gonna mix that until the eggs are combined. So we have two and a half cups of all purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons baking soda, and one teaspoon salt. And we're just gonna whisk that to combine. Can I use a different kind of flour? I mean, you could. I know that some people use like half cake flour, half bread flour, half AP flour, half cornstarch, you know. That's up to you if you wanna like experiment with your flours, but if all you have is cake flour, then I use it, you know? It's gonna make a cookie and it's gonna be eaten. Add in a teaspoon of vanilla. And now we're just going to sprinkle in the flour mixture until it's combined. All right, so we are gonna be using about a cup and a half or six ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And the reason I like the semi-sweet is because the Nutella is so sweet. You definitely don't need any added extra sweetness, but it gives this like really good chocolate flavor to the stuffed cookies. Doesn't get easier than that. Now all we have to do is stuff them like a Christmas turkey. I found my scooper. <laughs> okay, time to scoop. This is a number 20 cookie scoop, or about three tablespoons if you don't have a cookie scoop. You can just eyeball it, okay? These are stuffed cookies. They can be whatever you want them to be. Darn it. Just scoop and scrape. It's like, what is that? The bend and snap. <laughs> scoop and scrape. So I'm gonna chill these for about 30 minutes just so that the butter has time to kind of firm up. Um, as you can see, we're not gonna be baking on this pan. It's just literally for putting it in the fridge. You want your dough to be firm enough, like it's not sticky, but not rock hard. So maybe if you have ADHD or you're just forgetful, like I am, then um, just like set a timer. Hey Siri, set a timer for 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes and counting. <laughs> Good job, Siri. All right. Come my precious babies into the fridge. All right, our Nutella little droplets are frozen, but they won't be for long, so we gotta work fast. We're gonna take one of our little chilled pieces of dough, and you can do this two ways. You can just kind of like take your Nutella, your frozen Nutella, and press, right? And then kind of squish. And you want 
more dough on the bottom than you do on the top, okay? So that's one way. The other way is you take your dough and you divide it in half. Press this one down, Nutella dough. You gotta make these sounds though. All right, I think I prefer this one. I'm just gonna stuff all of my cookies and then put them onto my tray lined with some parchment paper. These do spread, so I'm only gonna put about six on my tray at once. Okay, now we're gonna chill this for another 30 minutes and then it will be into the oven. All right, 30 minutes is up and now the secret. We take some chocolate chips and put them on top so that when it bakes, it looks extra pretty and Pinteresty. And now whenever you see chocolate chip cookies with perfectly beautiful chocolate chips on top, you'll be like, I know what they did. All right, now these are gonna go into the oven for 10 minutes at 375 degrees and we're gonna check them and see if they're too glossy in the center. You might have to adjust a minute or two, depending on your oven. Okay, these look perfect. Um, I know that they were ready to come out because the top is very slightly puffed and it doesn't look like oily or like wet in the center. So this was about 12 minutes, but you might need a little bit more time depending on your oven. But this is what it should look like. And as soon as they cool down just a little bit, we can crack one open and see that gooey Nutella in the center. So cookies don't have a lot of moisture in them, but they do have a lot of fat and a lot of sugar, which guess what is a natural preservative. So chocolate chip cookies will last you like a week. I mean, if you can stop yourself from eating them, Nutella is shelf stable too. So the perfect stuffed cookie. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Is it gonna be gooey in the center? <gasps> oh my God, that looks so good. Mm. Oh. There's just nothing but Nutella in my mouth right now. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good though. I'm gonna need a minute. Mm -hmm. Now that I just ate enough Nutella to run a whole kindergarten class. <laughs> okay, first of all, if you do not love Nutella, this cookie is not for you. <laughs> but you know what is surprising is the buttery, crispy edge of the cookie and the Nutella and then the semi-sweet chocolate it all like combined together and made like a whole new flavor and texture in my mouth. And honestly, I just want a giant scoop of ice cream to go with this. It would just be absolutely delicious. Like seriously, so good. Let's see if you can hear this crunch. Mmm. Oh my God. That is a freaking good cookie. Oh, okay. All right, stop. Mmm. I cannot wait to hear about what you guys are gonna make. Remember, it doesn't have to be chocolate chip and it doesn't have to be Nutella. You can stuff a cookie with anything as long as you believe in yourself. I'm Liz and I will see you in the next video. Bye.